Hey LaToya, my name is Alex Stemley. I'm the president of Stemley Consulting Group. And in this video, I'm going to show you three things that you can do today to help bring in more customers to your business. Now, most likely you're sitting there asking yourself, why would I be doing this and what's in it for me? Well, you're lucky because I read minds. And the answer is, oftentimes in the world of the internet, most local business owners are too busy running their business to learn how the internet can benefit them and their company. And sometimes the only hesitation to hiring someone is they don't know who the expert is and who isn't. I've found by giving an easy free attack plan of actual things that they can do to impact their business for free, it's actually resulted in some of those local business owners still raising their hands and saying, I like you Alex, please do this for me. So if by the end of this video you've liked what you've heard and you can see that I have a lot of tricks up my sleeve that can help your business with bringing in more clientele, please shoot me a message back and we can chat. Or, if at the end of this video you simply want to take this free attack plan I gave you to do yourself, that works for me too. So now let me show you three things that will set your company above your competition and not waste any more of your time or mine. So the first thing I want to go over is something called content. Now content is anything that I can see on a web page. All the wording, all the pictures, everything on that home page is considered content. Okay. As you can see, I do have your website pulled up. It is a very nice website, very well put together, uh, looks great, very professional. Just not a whole lot of content on there. And that's okay. That can always be you know, fixed. Uh, now, not only do we want content, and Google actually looks uh, really to optimize you. They want about 1,500 words on that home page. And they have to be 1,500 keyword rich content. Okay, so what a keyword is, is anytime you go into a search engine like Google and you type in, for instance, coffee uh, coffee shop next to me, coffee bar next to me, coffee, coffee bar Indianapolis, or Indianapolis coffee bar Louisville, uh, all, all of the above, uh, those are different keywords that people are searching every month. So what we want to do is take the, the keywords that people are searching the most and put that into your content. Now, luckily here at Stemley Consulting Group, we do have an algorithm put together and are very, very good about putting these in the places they need to be. Google looks very, very closely at your website to make sure that you don't have these keywords too many times all bunched up. They actually ding you for that and drop your page lower. It's what you call keyword stuffing. We definitely don't want to do that. So luckily we have a, a very good system in place so Google never has an issue with our, with our work. Okay, so when I said we need about 1,500 words content on there to really be optimized, let's look ex exactly where you're at currently. So currently it says you have about 165 words on that home page. So that's something we would really, really need to dive in and get much, much more content on there. Okay, not hard to do, just takes a little bit of time. Okay. Now, not only do I have your page pulled up here, but I actually pulled up a couple of the competition in Louisville as well, uh, just so we, you know we can compare apples to apples. So, looking at another website, I have Hein Brothers. They showed up very, very high on Google, so that's somebody we'd want to take out, take out the competition. That gets you more clients. So, look at their website. Uh, they have quite a bit more content on there. Uh, still, very nice website, but doesn't look like it'd be too hard to overtake. Okay, so let's look at their account. So they're only sitting at 657 words on there. Well, that should be very easy to overtake them, especially if we get that 1500 in there. Now, again, we want the, the keywords to be in there, and we'll see how many keywords they actually have uh, moving forward, and we'll get to that here shortly. But I want to look at one other company here, and this one here, let's look at the... Um, looks like Sunner Goes Coffee was the last one I was looking at. Uh, with them, again, very nice website. Let's look at their word content. So they actually have only 159 words. So right there, those are two of the biggest ones that I found in Louisville. And you have the ability to take both of those out very, very quickly, okay? Uh, so not hard to do. Now, not only do I want to talk about content, I want to move on to the next section. Next section is something called Google My Business or GMB, or some people just like to call it the Map Pack. And what that is, is anytime you go into Google, and you type in a keyword. So I typed in coffee shop Louisville, Kentucky. As you know, when you type a keyword in like that, it's going to show up with a map. That map is what we call the map pack. Okay. Underneath that map, generally there's three different businesses. 
Okay. Every once in a while, you'll see a couple ads in there. Some people see them, some people don't. Some people have an ad blocker that takes all of those away. But we want to look at the organic. So the top three, you see Center Goes, Highland Coffee, and uh, Fonte's Coffee House. Okay, so we have all those right there. How do you get into the top? Well, the way we do this, number one, we register with Google. Google wants to know your exact business name, hours of operation, exact location. Um, they want to, uh, they want to have minimum 20 pictures that are keyword, that have keywords behind them. They also want a description. They like to have 500 words that are keyword rich inside that description. And then they want as many five star reviews as absolutely possible. This will move you up very quickly. Because let's face it, if somebody types something in there, uh, generally, me, for instance, I will only look at the top three. Why will I do that? Well, probably because I'm just too lazy to hit the view all but generally there's something in your brain that says if they're at the top three that makes them the three best whether that's right or wrong that's just usually how it, it, it works out so we need to get all that stuff in there to really move you up and get you in that top three okay once you're in that top three I mean scads of business coming your way which would be great that's what we're here to do okay so that's number two number three that we're gonna talk about today is something called citations and backlinks. These could be the most important when it comes to everything in the end. Okay, what a citation is? A citation is just a directory. Citation equals directory. When I mean directory, I mean anything from Yellow Pages to Yelp to Google uh, to you know White Pages, GoDaddy, Bing. All of those are considered directories. We want to get you on as many directories as possible. Anywhere that I can find the business information for you. That is considered a citation. So that's very important to get in there. But even more important than that is something called backlinks. Now, what a backlink is, it, it, very easy to, to find backlinks. A backlink is any website on the internet. Doesn't matter what kind of website it is, any website on the internet where I can find a link to your website. For instance, if we were looking at a blog all about coffee, and at the end of that blog, it said, uh, check out Brew and Sip Co Coffee Bar. Well, there's a link to your website right there. People can click on it, and it will go straight into your website. That is considered a backlink. Now, generally, Google likes to have a minimum of 250 to 350 to really start optimizing you, okay? Now, I will tell you, a lot of times, that's not near enough. We want as many as absolute possible. I, you, I will see in there people that have thousands of backlinks now when I say thousands of backlinks not all backlinks are considered equal okay so I have another program that I like to use it's called RFs uh, I pay about four hundred dollars a month for it but it actually shows me every single backlink that anybody has okay so when I'm looking at yours right here I see that you only have 16 backlinks currently getting found for two two keywords uh, which right now on average is not bringing anyone to your website a month Okay, so we definitely need to move that up. Let's look at your backlinks. So, when I say not all backlinks are considered equal, so we go over here and we look at this DR. What DR means is how much power are these backlinks actually bringing to my website? How much credibility are they bringing in? It's out of a scale of 0 to 100. We want that scale, that number to be as high as possible. We want that as close to 100 as we can get. Uh, anything real low is not really doing anything for you so as you can see right here you do have some backlinks in here but they're not doing much for you so you have a nine a nine quite a few nines in there which is okay not you know we can really work on that just takes time to get everything in and everything correctly now why do some work better for than others well could be a whole different bunch of things for instance you know if I was give you a backlink. I wouldn't want to backlink you on a Pizza Hut website. Why? Because you're not slinging pizza. I would want to do anything that has to do with coffee, uh, with catering, anything at all. I want to get you on. That will give you more power. If there is a, uh, you know, a big big time barista that's uh, has a blog about coffee. Well, I want to try to get you on there because the more people that look at their site that gives them the more power and then if I take some of I take that power and I put it on yours that just makes you winning 
so much more. So these numbers are low, but again, just takes time and we could definitely move you up on those, okay? No problem there. Now let's look at some of the competition. So we're going to go over to Hein Brothers again, and let's look at theirs on Arif. So this is a completely different story with these people. So right away, you can see they're getting, they have about 22,000 backlinks, uh, getting found for 3,000 keywords, which is bringing about 4,000 people to their website a month. Okay, So you can see what the backlinks really, really do for you here. Now, we're going to look at theirs, and like I said, not all backlinks are created equal, so in that 22,000, I don't imagine all of them are giving them a lot of power. So, looking at this, uh, we have uh, we have 52, we have 30, we have 87, uh, we have 10. If you really look here, the 30 is not doing them too much, 10 is not doing them too much, the 87 is great. Uh, 57 is okay, 79, 85, 46, the 10 not really doing anything, the 1 not doing anything at all. So out of that 22,000, we'd go through and we would actually look at only ones that are doing them very, very well. So it's 93, fantastic, but then you look at this 5 not doing anything, 2 not doing anything, 7 not doing anything. We really only want to grab the big ones. So how do we compete with these people? What we do, we literally go in and we copy every single one that they have that is doing anything. We put that on your website. From there, we not only match them, but then we take it to another level and we have a whole list of different places to go that bring a lot of power and uh, good quality to your site that Google really, really likes. Okay, So we don't want to just meet the competition or match them. We want to take out the competition. We want to uh, basically be the market setters. We want to be the top. Okay, Again, not hard to do, just something we need to work on. And let's go to the next one here, the Sun or Ghost Coffee. Let's look at theirs here. So with them, okay, so it looks like they have 14,000 backlinks, okay, getting found for 489 keywords, which is bringing them about 1.4 thousand people to their website a month, okay. So you can see the power that is in this. Uh, it, it's really not difficult to do, but again, it just takes time. You can't rush everything in. Google finds that uh, very bad if you rush things. So we do everything organically. We know exactly how many to put in a month, when to put them in, where to put them in, and just to get you going the way you need to be going, okay? Because we want to get this number, the organic traffic. That's what we want to get for you. Uh, remember kind of where you're at here. So if we go to you again, go back to the overview, and right now, yeah, 16 backlinks, two keywords, no traffic currently. Again, we've seen this, worked with this many, many times. Uh, we just really want to help you out as much as possible if we can. So I don't want to get uh, too much into the weeds. You know, I don't want to overwhelm you with things. So just kind of in closing what we went over today, number one, we talked about content. Remember, we want to have a minimum of 1,500 words on that homepage just to become optimized by Google, okay? From there, we talked about the Google My Business, how to get that up and how to get that into the top three, okay? And then number three, we talked about citations and backlinks. Remember, these could be the most important part of the entire uh, building on Google. We want to get as many as possible, minimum 250 to 350, just to get started. Uh, but then we really want to take it to a whole other level to get you up where we want to be, okay? So you can either go with this information I provided you today and do this on your own, and I'm totally cool with that. However, if you want the most effective route and want to save yourself the time, you can give me a call at 317-676-4405. Again, my name is Alex Stemley. I am the President and CEO of Stemley Consulting Group. And again, our number is 317-676-4405. It was a pleasure giving this video for you today. Have a wonderful one and talk to you soon.